Welcome to the Sex, Money, and Real Estate Podcast, the show for real estate couples about how to close more deals in the bedroom. My name is Nancy Jamison. And I'm Bill Jamison. And each week we deep dive into juicy, intentional, sexy conversations, sharing with you what it takes to create balance in your intimate relationships and your real estate business. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, baby. What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm awesome. Why are you awesome? Because we are on vacation Woo-hoo. in one of our favorite spots. It is a. Uh, it is. Uh, I'm gonna. St- I'm gonna kick off with magic right now. Okay. It's in one of our spots that uh, we have vacationed in since before the boys were born. Mm-hmm. Actually, we have been coming to Charleston, South, South Carolina. Carolina. Since uh, 2000, I feel like our first trip here was probably 2001 or 2002. Yeah. Something like that. I mean, yeah, at least. And and I don't know if we were as regular those first couple of years, but since the boys have been born, we have been here every single year, at least once to twice a year for yeah. either a long weekend or, or, a, or a great week, a long week, mm-hmm. um, you know, and it's come to be like... You know, and we take lots of adventures and we go, you know, traveling. And I'm sure for our regular listeners, you know, that we we uh, we definitely like to get around. Yet this is the one place that has been very I've heard that about you, by the sweet pea <laughs> that has been very uh, consistent for us mm-hmm. uh, and our family. Yeah, every year. It's, the last uh, it's, years. it's like the grounding vacation spot. You mm-hmm. know, we kind of know what to expect. We kind of have our routine. And uh, and yet, you know, we come here every year. And it's magic for me to always be here. And then... There's always something new when we come here. Mm -hmm. And so when I was thinking about magic before we uh, popped this microphone on was that, uh, you know, and last few years, it's always been like the new animal, Mm -hmm. the new animal. You know, we've had we've had owls living in the backyard that came into uh, our our awareness when we uh, when we arrived here in our spot. Um, We had the the frog farm one year where Mm -hmm. all the frogs and it was just crazy. (laughs) Uh, We we had a uh, peregrine falcon. Mm-hmm. Show up one year, yeah, a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, and so already this year, an alligator has showed up that we've never seen in a spot where we are, and uh, a bald eagle. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like freaking out over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was awesome. So beautiful, young guy too. You could mm-hmm. tell, you know, not as big as some of them, mm-hmm. but yet old enough to have the white crest and. You know, it soared, and I mean, there must have been something over the house that we're staying at that it was uh, after, because uh, it circled for a very long time. Mm-hmm. So yep. it was cool. It was yep. cool. So that's me. That's my magic baby. Awesome, Nature. beautiful. Yes. Mm-hmm. How about you? I love it. So uh, my magic is yes, of course, being here in Charleston is always amazing and so relaxing, and I appreciate the opportunity to to pause. And uh, I really appreciate the way we kicked off our vacation this year. You know, the intention was to leave at five in the morning and to drive here from Atlanta. And uh, what we chose to do instead was we we got up at five in the morning. However, instead of leaving at five in the morning, we got up at five in the morning and we loved on each other and, you know, just really beautiful kissing and lovemaking. And I just really appreciated that deep connection with you before we set out on the road to uh to the family vacation so mm-hmm. i think that was super beautiful and then it certainly made the uh the well, the drive's always a piece of cake and yet it just certainly made the drive even more swirly and fun <laughs> for sure yeah <laughs> and it was like a super easy drive for mm-hmm. sure so. yeah yeah so that's that's definitely i echo all of your magic and then i sprinkle on that that sexy pixie dust Nice. To the, nice, uh, nice, to the nice. magic too. So thank yeah. you. Yep. Yep. I'm looking forward to being here for a few more days. Looking forward to some more beach time and um, crabbing. We love crabbing while we're here. And um, yeah, it's just it's really great. It's a wonderful way to connect in nature and be outside and just really experience uh, the the beauty of where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Getting grounded for me mm-hmm. is, uh, you know, whether we're camping or, you know, out here exploring, whatever, it's always very grounding for me. So mm-hmm. I, I definitely have that appreciation. Yep. Absolutely. So, so if this, uh, this, this recording may not sound as clear as some of our recordings, uh, we're just using kind of a portable microphone here and 
We are out on a dock mm -hmm. in the middle of a marsh, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, there's an alligator behind us. Yep. And a bunch of fish and a few crabs swimming around us, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Yep. So you we, may hear cicadas or birds or the alligators or the fish flapping around or, or any of that kind of stuff. This is actually the spot that we go crabbing in year after year, so we wanted to be out here and share with you. Maybe we can post a picture of that along with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and then we got out here and, uh, you know, and then we started having that conversation a little bit about uh, being on vacation, you mm -hmm. know, and I'm finger quoting here, vacation. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the, the relationship to vacation, the relationship to life, and, uh, you know, and, you know, the, the work that we do yep. and put in, the hours we put in, as opposed to the hours that we play. And uh, talking about that relationship a little bit, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, because, you know, Rex got, our son Rex got on uh, got on you yesterday a little bit about uh, you were working on an appraisal or something mm -hmm. um, at the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went to the beach yesterday and he's like, get off your phone, get off your phone. And I said, honey, you know, this is, this is part of it. This is, the, this is the choice that we made when we are... Um, you know, we're we're here. We're here experiencing life with you, and we're here uh, servi servicing our clients and servicing each other. And you know, this is part of it. So, for us to own our own business, there are times that mommy is going to choose to work, and I will be present with you in you know a little bit. So I gave him a time frame. I th I think I said you know thirty minutes. Um, and then I'll get in the water with you and we'll play ball and hop the waves and all that kind of stuff. And so I feel like he definitely understood in, you know, I mean, we intentionally live our life in that entrepreneurial spirit and we relate to it really powerfully as opposed to saying something to the effect of, oh, I need a break from my life. Yeah. And uh, so I'm going to go, you know, completely off the wagon like mm -hmm. i'm not gonna exercise i'm gonna eat all of the shit food i'm not gonna do any of my things that i normally do in you know my quote-unquote regular life and um and then you know just i don't know it, just leave it all hanging out and that's not necessary that's not it's not even not necessarily how we do it we just we just don't like how we are in atlanta is how we are here to the degree that, you know, we get questions all the time. It's like, oh, what's, what's in your smoothie? Oh, wait a minute. You're fasting? Like when we got here on Wednesday, we were fasting. Mm -hmm. We were water fasting. Yep. And because uh, that's – Bill and I fast on Mondays and Wednesdays. We do 30-hour water fasts. And so we stick to it. <laughs> and, you know, they're like, hey, we're going to do this. And we're like, yeah, cool, great, do it. We're fasting. So it's, um, it's an interesting conversation. Uh, and – really our our opinion of it our paradigm with it is for sustainability and we work hard and we play hard and uh, it translates into joy in the face of circumstances right. and and creating choices that support our lifestyle you know yeah you weren't mad about i mean you were never even miffed or mad i mean it, you know I'm, and i'm saying this just for context mm. you know is that about doing the deal on the beach oh no not at all actually quite the opposite like you yeah, know grateful so super grateful for the fact that we had wi-fi and i had cell phone service and you know i can talk with the inspector i could talk with our clients i could talk with the other agent i could talk with the electrician i could talk with the appraiser and so in a in a period of time, you know, we were able to keep that deal going and um and it was great. And yeah, then, and it's, there were no emergencies, there were no, you know, no, it, it was just it was just normal real estate type stuff and mm -hmm. yet chose to uh continue on with the balance because you knew you had the rest of the day at the beach. Mm -hmm. You know, and you had you knew that we were going to be able to play later on that night as well. Mm -hmm. Was it that night we went for a run? I no, I remember. think that was the first night. Oh, that was the here. first night while we're oh, while we're fasting. We went yeah. for a run as well. <laughs> right, got it's a, two mile run. Got a few miles in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it, it's all about the relationship to it. Yeah. And that's that's the balance that you know we speak of so often in this podcast is you know relating joyfully to the balance of the the work and the play. And when you have that balance, and when you're making those deposits into yourself, 
um, throughout the day, whether it's going for a run or taking a nap or meditating, um, you know, any, any of those things that you make those deposits into yourself, it allows you to turn around and also continue to that sustainability with your work. Mm-hmm. And you, and you know, and, and we've talked about it, work for 45 minutes and then take 15 minutes to, uh, to yourself where you unplug and go play ping pong or go for a walk or just walk away and, and, and sit down for a minute and do nothing at all mm-hmm. or do yeah. some jumping jacks, right. whatever. Social media. I mean, you know, your service, your clients for the 15 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So that, and that balance continues on into the vacation. Like Nancy was saying is, is, you know, it's, you, you know, there's going to be as an entrepreneur, there is going to be times where you're on vacation or you're on the other side of the planet or you're, you know, you're in the middle of a workout routine, let's say, and, um, you know, you can take that time and have that conversation if you need to. You know, if you're in the middle of some some self care, I don't necessarily recommend <laughs> you know interrupting your your workout routine. But you know, you get you get the essence of what I'm saying is that you find that balance so that um, you're always enjoying no matter what you do. Mm-hmm. I think it's the appreciation too of the choice of being an entrepreneur. So you know, in this context, it's real estate, or it's mortgage, or it's appraisal, any anything to do with the real estate industry. But it, it it's it's truly saying. Yes, I chose to be in this industry and therefore I'm aware that there are going to be moments in which, you know, I'm I'm working, I'm 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 servicing my clients, I'm servicing my my future. So be cool with <laughs> with servicing, you know, it's in essence your your um your career, your job, your business. Yep. And it's uh it's certainly it's a mature aspect of it. It's it's like um you know, you created it. You created these wonderful things. Like we created a very successful real estate business. We created a very successful coaching business. And therefore, uh, there are going to be things that people are will need of us. And instead of being a victim to what we created, we, we joyously embrace uh, the experience of servicing, the experience of being in service to, the experience of, of um, perpetuating the business. So it's definitely – a conscious choice mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. And again, it all finding that balance creates the sustainability, you know, for you to have the successful business, not to have the ups and downs and the sustainability then is balanced off with, you know, your life, your lifestyle habits where you create sustainability there, you know, and you're not stopping and starting the exercise or the meditation or any of the other things that you do or, you know, the, um, that, that you do to, to, to love on yourself. And feel the, the, you know, whatever the result is, the consequence of that is, you know, the weight loss or weight gain. Or the judgment. Or the, yeah, all the judgment. judgment, You know, oh my gosh, I went off my, I went off my exercise routine while I was on vacation and now, you know, I'm so pissed off at myself. I mean, that, the, the judgment is actually worse than going off your, off the exercise routine. So, and anyway, I mean, getting back to the. I think it's fascinating. I mean, we hear that a lot. I need a break from my life mm-hmm. or I need a break from, you know. So if we if we think about that whole concept for a second, I need a break from my life, then you're in force. You're certainly not in joy. You're not in, in the center of yourself. You're not in your power zone. You're in force. And if, if in any moment that that's something that that comes up, that you need a break or you're in overwhelm, then it. I would recommend you pause. You know, I really invite you to take a look at that conversation um, because you're not relating powerfully to whatever it is that you're talking about. So if you're in overwhelm and there's, you know, too much business coming in or I don't have anybody to cover my business or um, I can't get in joy or any of that kind of stuff. I mean, that that's just a conversation that yeah. it, it's a belief that you need to definitely take a look at. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, lots of times it's, uh, you know, you see, you think you need a break at the end of the night and, um, you know, and I understand, you know, setting boundaries and things like that, uh, where it's a cutoff for work. But, you know, if you're to the point where you're like, I can't do anymore and I just need a break and you're using some things maybe for escape rather than, um, you know, some things that help continue to empower you to create that s- sustainability. That's another instance where you can, you know, you can take a look at what you're creating and maybe recontextualize that a little bit as well. Meaning what? Like give an example. 
Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the night, you get so done and you're so, you know, you're, you're frustrated by your day and you're not relating well and you're in um, some kind of anger or fear or just overwhelm that you, you know, you start drinking. Then, you know, I'm, and I'm not judging the drinking. I'm saying, though, if you were relating in a way where you just have to have a drink, there may be an opportunity to relate in a different way. Mm hmm. And create some other kind of balance there. So you don't feel so frazzled at the end of the day. You know, it's leverage. It could be leverage. Mm -hmm. You know, creating more leverage during your day and, you know, finding that virtual um, uh, assistant. assistant. It could be, uh, again, you know, finding some more ways to balance uh, things, your work, your workload during the day so that you're not frustrated, mad, or, or burnt out by the end of the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Emotional eating comes to mind when you talk about that. Mm, yep. That's a big one. Yeah. Just like, like to dumb it down. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely an interesting pattern and it's, and it's prevalent. You know, society is so much, uh, you're, you're rewarded for production. You're uh, rewarded for how much you produce. You're rewarded for, Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. When in fact, uh, that actually may be counterproductive. It may be, um, yeah, it may be counterproductive. You you may not work the best way when it's all go 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 go. So you may want to think about trying a different way or or experimenting with a different way of of uh your best output. So that's what that's what we offer to you is you know we've offered the 40 working 45 minutes on 15 minutes off. We've offered you know different sustainability habits to pepper throughout the day so you can stay empowered and in the center of yourself and um and we have a lot other we have a lot of other tools uh really amazing tools to, that we're happy to speak to you about as well yep. and uh, it's one of those things where we have some great tools for you but we may need to have a conversation first so that we can better empower you so mm -hmm. really encouraging you to if you're feeling any of these things where i like i need to take a break or i'm ready to quit or any of those kinds of things and it, it doesn't have to be with work it could be with it could be with life you know with your family or friends or or whatever, then you know, reach out to us so we can have this conversation with you, and we can and we can empower you the same way we've empowered ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we empower the, our coaching clients. You know, I mm -hmm. mean, they, there's definitely there's definitely a correlation for yeah. sure. And our kids and family members and yeah, yeah, absolutely, awesome, absolutely. Cool. So I ha I'm so glad that we are taking our balanced break. Mm -hmm. So glad that we're here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that. We have uh, found a great balance here in this place. Mm -hmm. So thanks, yep. thanks for being here. The alligator just poked his head out of the water, by the way. Nice. And then he just is, went down. Is he closer to us? He is, actually. Nice. <laughs> See, he's interested. He wants to know. He knows mm -hmm. where the party is. Uh -huh. That's, oh, that's great. Cool, cool. Very cool. So just as a refresher, we have started a private Facebook group. It's called Sex, Money, and Real Estate Group on Facebook. That's how you can search us. And uh, it's a private group for now. It's free for now. It's definitely going to go to membership um, within the next couple of months. And we, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna get everything. You're gonna get coaching tools, workshop uh, exercises, tips, resources, more stories, more very raw, transparent, authentic conversation. We deep dive into a lot of really cool stuff there. We're going to be doing Facebook lives and giveaways and all kinds of cool stuff. So yeah, we're definitely wrapping it up. So get on while you can for mm -hmm. free because it's not going to be free forever. Yes, for sure. And then, of course, if you love the podcast, we would really appreciate you downloading it and sharing it with one person. Subscribe to it. Even write a five star review. Sexmoneyrealestate.com. Go for it. <laughs> awesome. I dare you. All right, Jam Fam. Love goes out. Cool. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye. Wow. What a show. Thank you so much for listening. If you're inspired, we ask that you share the podcast with one person and subscribe and follow our show. I'm Nancy Jameson. And I'm Bill Jameson. And remember, it's a great life. Woo! <laughs>
quick note about the Sex, Money, and Real Estate podcast. We are not doctors or licensed therapists. We are a joyous, abundant, and mature couple passionately sharing our story of growth around sex, money, and real estate. Our thoughts, opinions, and beliefs are our own, so please consult your doctor, healthcare provider, or your broker regarding any questions or issues you have related to your physical or mental health or specific state laws regarding your real estate business.